<laughs> yeah. See, God never stops loving us. Hmm? It's a very nice question. If we do something bad or if we become bad, it is not that God stops loving us. It is rather we stop perceiving the love of God. We stop seeing the love of God. Like the sun is always giving light. But if we close our eyes or if we go into a deep dark dungeon, then we can't see the light of the sun. Similarly, when we start doing things which are bad, which are harmful, then we are basically closing our eyes to God's love. Just like say somebody becomes very greedy. Hmm? Then what happens is that greed fixates their vision on just one particular thing. Oh, you know, I, I must get this. And if I don't get this, I'm extremely unhappy. I'm frustrated. I'm enraged. So similarly, so that's when that happens to us, there may be the dozens of blessings in our life, but because that one thing is not there, we just can't perceive how God is good to us, how God has blessed us. It's like, um, you are a child, but you can also understand this. Sometimes what happens is, a child wants a particular toy. And the parents may have given lots of things to the child. But the parents say, okay, not, not now. And the child feels, my parents don't love me at all. Now the parents do love the child. But what has happened is the child has reduced his or her vision to just that toy. So like that when we do bad things, why do we do bad things? Because we desire something very strongly. Or we desire to avoid some trouble very strongly, whatever it is. But when we do bad things, our vision gets caught in that one small thing. And that blinds us to God and His love. So it's not that God sends us away when we do bad things. Rather, it is our actions only take us away from God when we do bad things. So, so yes. So, what is the question? Yeah. So, like, will your relationship with God go down if you like try fighting God? That's a good question. See, Ra Lord Ram gave Ravan very many opportunities to peacefully settle the situation. Although he had done a great wrong by kidnapping Sita, Lord Ram said, "Just return her, and we'll end this." He refused, and that's why the war was inevitable. Now, after finally Ravan was killed, then there was a time, the war was over now, then there was a time to perform the last rites. I mean, after somebody dies, then we perform the last rites for them so that that soul can go to the next destination peacefully. So when Vibhishan was Ravan's brother and he said, Ravan was such a wild creature. He was such a terrible person, he offended you so much. I don't think he deserves even the last rites. I don't want to perform those. And Lord Ram said, the soul is always pure. In this body, he, he has done terrible things and he's been punished for that. But now, his soul deserves to be free so that it can go onwards. And he may have failed in his duty, Vishan, but just because he did something bad does not mean you should do something bad to him. Now that this chapter is over, his life is over, you don't fail in your duty. So my point is that Lord Ram did not uh, continue his anger toward Ravan after Ravan's capacity to do wrong had stopped. So when Ravan died, the soul didn't die. Lord Ram had no hatred toward Ravan. Ram only wanted to stop the wrongdoing. And once that wrongdoing was stopped, he says, you're still the well-wisher of the soul to help him move ahead. Does that answer the question? Yes. Thank you. Good question.